when we're talking about absolute truth in Buddhism, we're talking about the qualities of all experiences or the qualities of all phenomena. When we're talking about relative truth, we're talking about that which exists in relationship to causes and conditions. So the fact that this interaction between us is happening is very much a relative truth. The fact that whatever happens in this talk is impermanent and by definition will not last. In some Buddhist philosophies, there's a further description of relative truth, which is false or confused truth. Ideas that we take to be true about reality that aren't true at all. One example of false relative truth is thinking somebody hates you, and then you go and talk to them about it, and it turns out they actually like you. Most often what happens when we think somebody hates us is we find out they weren't thinking about us at all. That would be an example of false relative truth because the thought that's in our head doesn't even describe relational reality.